You're gonna want to practice your draw a lot. Did you check up the damage? The rocks! Hey! Walter White wants to buy my car wash. The price he pays is $20 million. Each week we break down another Breaking Bad episode in order, and this week it's season four, episode two, 38 Snub, and Dean Norris is back to help us solve a 13-year Breaking Bad mystery. Today on... Better watch TV, and you better. I've got 20 details you might not know, plus two bonus details I missed from earlier episodes. How's it look? Basically, any lawman worth his salt's gonna spot that. If stealth is what you're aspiring to, you'd best go with something more compact. 38 Special, Snub knows. Just like season 1 titles had a lot of movie references, the writers are going with a weapons theme for season 4 titles until it stopped making sense. Also, 38 or 308 has significance throughout the series. 38 pounds. Jim Beaver, who plays Lawson, has many connections to the cast because he has been in so many things. He's yet another X-Files alum, was in Deadwood with Anna Gunn, and would later be in The Boys with Giancarlo. You're gonna want to practice your draw a lot. What's this? Well, that there is why you're going to pay me five times what you'd pay your neighborhood gun store. Serial number has been filed off. We strictly talking defense here? Yes. Absolutely. Defense. There's the best liar back in action. You'd save yourself a potential felony two-spot for carrying a weapon with a defaced serial number if you'd just buy it legally. Lawson's a stand-up guy, caring more about what makes sense than making a sale. It's for defense. Defense. I'll take it. We're led to believe that you can hear Jesse's music outside, but the system is showing 26 decibels, which is softer than a whisper. It sounds like an earthquake out there. Well, silent earthquakes are a thing. Hold on to your hats, bitches. Hey man, I saw Andrea at a meeting yesterday. She asked about you. The song lyrics say, which is the beer whose song Hank adapted for Schrader Brow. 12 steps and all that. Seriously? Maybe just a little bump. Jesse once again corrupts those around him. Left for dead, yo. The way them bitches get all cranial when you cap them in the head, it's like, booyah! The writer's 13-year-old nephew gave him ideas for which games to talk about. I'm convinced this is another appearance of for motion picture use only money because those look like solid letters in the upper right corner. Dude, you are so historically retarded. Nazi zombies don't want to eat you just because they're craving the protein. That was an unplanned coincidence. Did that just happened. It's quiet. You know what this place needs? One of the most prominent party goers is Brenda. Looking good. Nice too. Or at least the same actress. You're gonna want to practice your draw. This is a great demonstration of Walt and Jesse continuing to process their trauma differently. Jesse tries to drown out his feelings with literal noise, and Walt sits in silence preparing to take action. Can you sleep? Actually, yes, Marie, this is me sleeping. What's it look like? Looks like you're looking at a rock. This is not a rock. This is a mineral for like the tenth time. Blue corundum. Leave it to Hank to go after blue crystal. It's two in the morning. I'm just asking if maybe you, you know, want... You last I counted, Marie, there are four bedrooms in this house. Hank seems to feel some remorse and backtracks a little. You no, know, I mean, if I'm keeping you awake and all. Could you call me back, please? Hank's bills are really starting to pile up here. Second order of business is, um... Is the car wash? No, no, no. It's, uh, it's God. to take the next step here. What are you doing? What do you mean? You just left recorded proof of our intention to buy a car wash. We, we should not even be mentioning the words car wash on the phone at all. Hey, Mom. Hey, hon. Look, uh, there's some cereal on the breakfast table. This is the second episode in a row that Junior only appears for breakfast. I am more than happy to call Goodman myself. Hey, no, 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 no. I, I will handle it. This Whoa. unique shot was created by putting a remote control car inside the Roomba. I got bitch. You're way too sensitive about your zone, bro. Get everybody some breakfast, stock up on liquor while you're at it. Keep this party going. I mean, I want this place kicking harder than a sensei when I get back. Come on, damn it. Wake up and party. Many people are convinced this is Brian Cranston, which is funny because I think he actually resembles Dean Norris. What's the truth? The writer and director said they handpicked him. They also said that the point of focusing on him was to show how sad it was for a 48-year-old to be at the party. Dean Norris was 48 at the time, so I became convinced it was Dean. This was gnawing at me, and I couldn't leave it unresolved when I knew it was possible to ask the man himself. Question, at G Jesse Pinkman's party in 38 Snub, an extra is wearing a wig and glasses. Was that Hank Schrader in disguise? I'm uh, gonna let that one out there. How about that? I'm gonna let that one uh, just float on out there. Hmm. Dean, I love you, but I kind of feel like this right now. We're supposed to think this is Gus, like Walt does. 
Until they chose his name, the writers referred to Tyrus as New Victor. Hello? Yeah, Yo, you the new guy? What's the count? 201.6. Give it a second wave, if you would, please. New policy. What, Walter? For those keeping count, I did miss number 11 from full measure. If no. I can talk to Gus, I can, I can convince him, okay? Thanks to so many of you for keeping me honest. Where's Gus? Walter, you're never gonna see him again. The Dodge gets a detail. Seeing Bogdan reminds me, when they brought him back in season three, they had him wear a ski vest under his sweater because he lost so much weight since the pilot. Wax. Look at you! Way to go, honey! Just ten more steps! You're almost there, Hank! Oh. Hells yeah! Very nice. Yeah! Hey! Good man, Chuck. Thanks. Great session. Yeah. One day at a time. All we can do. You've got a real way with him. You want to go full time? We've got a spare bedroom. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. You're so strong today. Did you work up an appetite? I'm sure that you did. I was thinking about cooking tonight. So Sorry. I Get out. That's hard to watch. This is the moment Marie became Schraderberg. Venetia's is back. The writers added this to attempt to explain why the roof pizza wasn't sliced. Yo, what's up with the pie, man? It ain't cut. They don't cut their pizza, and they pass the savings on to you. What savings? How much can it be to cut a damn pizza? Venetia's was a real place, although they did slice their pizza. What am I supposed to do with this? But at least Aaron knew about a pizza place in Idaho called Chicago Connection that doesn't slice their deep dish pizzas. And here's a bonus pizza detail I missed from season three. It turns out they hid a frisbee-like disc under the pizza to make it more aerodynamic. Jesse's house number is supposed to be 9809, but here we see the real-life number. It's okay, everyone makes mistakes. In the last video, I accidentally showed detail 35 twice instead of 36. Aaron put on a jacket because it was freezing outside, even though this was supposed to take place in June. It was Brock. Good. Wait in the car, okay? Let the grown-up speak. They didn't want Brock to stand up because he grew about a foot since we last saw him. I think he's sitting down every time we see him going forward. After Tomas was murdered, two dudes from the block, couple bangers he used to hang with, get run over. Same night, I get this. She's a pro. She smartly conceals the fact that it's prop money. Is someone gonna come looking for this? No. What exactly am I supposed to do with this? Use it to get you and Brock out of that shithole in the neighborhood. Or you can go out and spin it on glass and I'd have no way of stopping you. But I gotta believe you won't do that. He's one to talk. Here you can also see the 322 address. They shot this scene like Walt's confrontation with Gus in full measure and are playing the same music, an original composition by Dave Porter. No Walta counter here. That's Tyrus, not Mike, on the phone. We know Gus has a lot of surveillance for his property. Ton of bricks. Rocks. Marie, is that my minerals? Yes, Hank. Did you check them for damage? The rocks, Hank. No, they're minerals. Jesus, Marie, I got some geodes coming that are very delicate, all right? Those delivery jagoffs, I'm telling you, I'm not getting ass raped by those bastards, all right? Just check, please. Mr. Wellenitz, my name is Skylar White. You wanna buy my car wash? I do, and I am prepared to talk numbers right now. Is there a figure you can quote me? Ten million dollars. Let's try 879,000. Where do you come up with this number? You pull it from your behind? On a typical day? You average 19 cars per hour. Extrapolating, I added the extra revenues for hand waxes and detailing, subtracted your overhead and salary, maintenance, operating fees, on top of which, I generously added an extra $50,000. So as not to be insulting. $20 million. This, this is the price for Walter White. Ah. Oh, yes. You don't think I know who you are? He quit without giving me notice. He broke my air freshener. He cursed at me and grabbed himself. And now he wants to buy my car wash. But he's not man enough to come in here and face me himself. Instead, he sends his woman. Excuse me? Walter White wants to buy my car wash. The price he pays is $20 million. Why does Bogdan have a post-it note that says, Call Walt for divorce papers? They did a take where Skylar grabs an air freshener on the way out, but decided not to use it. Have you recently lost a loved one in an aviation disaster? Have you suffered injury, shock to the senses, or property damage as a result of airplane debris or, God forbid, falling body parts? Can I buy you a drink? Why not? You make a hell of a lot more than I do. They're drinking Jive Turkey whiskey, which is perhaps meant to look like the real wild turkey brand. When you were going to kill me, you were simply following orders. I get that completely, and I harbor no ill will. There's a load off my mind. 
Drink up, Walter. What's with the piece? Right hip inside your waistband. Now you wear it if it makes you feel better, but if push comes to shove, it's not gonna help. We're in the same boat. If it happened to Victor, it could happen to you. You won, Walter. You got the job. Do yourself a favor and learn to take yes for an answer. Yeah, I got the job. But for how long? Get me in a room with him. You done? Yeah. Now I'm going to ruin this scene for you. This was shot to be longer, with both of them standing up and talking more before the punch. When you rewatch it, it's obvious that the punch happens while both men are standing. Ryan had a 30-pound sandbag in front of his torso so Jonathan could really kick him. Thanks for the drink. Pink man, man. You know how to party, brother. Did you recognize that guy? Hey, man. You're pink. Where are you going? I've been awake for like three straight days. I'm turning into a sleaze style. That's an alien species from Land of the Lost. So crash here. I think I got like this cat. What about you? You sticking or do I gotta flip you over and check you for a sliz? Bro, I'm kinda pushing flowers here, yo. To get the speakers to move like that, they played a test CD that could do it without playing human audible sound. A guy from a local stereo store made it match the beat of the song. Poor Jesse is alone and needs more volume to drown out his thoughts. Besides Walt's gun, the episode title could refer to characters being snubbed. Where's Gus? Walter, you're never gonna see him again. Get out. Twenty million dollars. I think I got like this cat. Cheers to my channel members. Have you recently wondered why brand new videos have comments that are two days old? Does that make you breaking sad? Better Watch TV channel members get early access to videos, fancy loyalty badges, custom emoji, occasional members only posts, and shout outs. Say hi to the new members. A little shout out to Killa Genius. Pablo, two U's, two boos, Ryu, R I U, Ryu, Trisha off perks. And remember, folks, they're not rocks, they're minerals. <laughs> Next week, Jesse goes go karting and Marie adds to her spoon collection. Walter, you're never gonna see him again. That's what you think. I'm gonna get a gun, I'm gonna go to his house and shoot him in the head. You hear me? I do!